Hi everyone, so today we're looking at the ministry as part of Elim Hope Church's foundational truths. So, the ministry, it says, we believe in the ministries that Christ has set in his church, namely apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors and teachers, and in the present operation of the manifold gifts of the Holy Spirit according to the New Testament. So the ministry, what we do to teach others about God. Now, the ministry of us telling God isn't all us doing the exact same thing. Exactly the same as last week when we spoke about the body of Christ having different body parts, all doing different things but working together. That is the same with the ministry. If we had loads of pastors, the teachers, loads of people that knew the word, um, we would never have any new people coming into church because we need the evangelist to tell people about God, just like Ben said in the sermon last week. And we need many different parts. Now, in 1 Corinthians 12, it tells us about the spiritual gifts and that is what I'd like to focus on today. So it says, now about the gifts of the spirit, brothers and sisters, I do not want you to be uninformed. You know that when you were pagans, somehow or other, you were influenced and led astray to dumb idols. Therefore, I want you to know that no one who is speaking by the spirit of God says, Jesus be cursed. And no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are different kinds of gifts, but the same spirit distributes them. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but in all of them and in everyone, it is the same God at work. So no matter what we're doing, we're all doing it for the same purpose. I'll carry on from verse 7. Now to each one the manifestation of the Spirit is given for the common good. To one there is given through the Spirit a message of wisdom. To another the message of knowledge by the means of the same Spirit. To another faith by the same Spirit. To another gifts of healing by that one Spirit. To another miraculous powers. To another prophecy to another distinguishing between spirits, to another speaking in different kinds of tongues, and to still another the interpretation of tongues. All these are the work of one and the same spirit, and he distributes them to each one just as he determines. Now, I grew up in a church with 500 people in and every single week all the seats were full and the Holy Spirit would work in different ways and I grew up seeing the different kinds of gifts of the Spirit through this so we would always have people come to the front or shout out words in tongues um, that is God's heavenly language given to them now I can say a few words in tongues, but I've never been able to understand what people are saying or understand the words of tongues. Um, but in the church I grew up in, there would be people that would say, speak in tongues and say what God was saying. And then someone else would come and interpret them. Um, just like if someone was speaking a foreign language and an interpreter was needed, they would come and share what was said. And it was amazing because we, I grew up seeing people speak in tongues and people then interpret them. The same with the gift of healing. Um, everyone should pray for people to be healed. Everyone should trust in God for the miracle of healing. But some people are just anointed with that power, that gift. Um, I have been healed several times. Um, my mum has the gift of healing. When she would pray for me, um, her hand would go hot. It would be like an electric sort of power, electric power sort of, not static shock, but sort of coming through you. And you'd feel the heat and the warmth and you'd feel God healing whatever was wrong with me when I was younger. Um, it also says about um, faith, to faith, to have faith. Faith is so important because faith is believing in him, believing without seeing. So I get in my car every day and I believe it will take me to a destination. 
I don't need to know how the engine works. I just believe it will. I switch on the kettle believing that my hot, my cold water will get hot to make me a cup of tea. And that is exactly like having faith in Jesus. I don't need to know the insides of how it works. I just have faith and know it will work. And that is like having faith in um, Jesus. Another gift is prophecy. Wow, we've heard of many prophets in the Bible that foretold Jesus's birth, that foretold Jesus's life, that foretold Jesus's death. But we still have prophets speak today, perhaps at a, a, a youth conference or a youth festival. Someone might have come to you and said, I believe Jesus is telling me this to tell you. Or you might have heard someone at the front say something in a sermon. Ben speak or Lynette speak or myself or Lauren speak and something in your gut says, oh, that word's for you. That is prophecy, a gift of prophecy. Not everyone has the gift of prophecy. Um, it is something, all of these gifts is something that you can pray for, you can ask for them. They are gifts, they are given to you by God, not for ticking, oh yes, you're a grade A Christian, you have earned this, but through, it's just a gift. You don't have to earn it. You just need to believe in him and he will give you gifts. You could pray for specific gifts. The gift of wisdom is an amazing one. Knowing what is right and wrong and seeing into situations and just understanding what you need to do and what you need to say so you don't mess up more. Um, discernment, the gift of understanding spirits. So you can walk past someone and think, they're not good. I shouldn't be spending my time with them. I can discern that is a bad spirit in them. That's a gift of discernment. Um, but all of these gifts are just like the body of Christ. They work together. God gives different gifts to different people. Um, you can pray for them. I would really recommend you reading 1 Corinthians chapter 12. I only went up to verse 11, but it does carry on from verse 12 to verse 31, talking more about gifts, talking more about the body of Christ. Um, so I'd really recommend you reading that and spending some time to think about it. Because when we read things, sometimes it can just go in one here and out the other. But actually, when we focus on them, when we spend time asking God what is important for us from that verse, when we spend time speaking to him, that is when the word really works. It's not just a word on page, but it's a word that touches your heart and encounters you. So I really recommend 1 Corinthians 12, pray and ask God for some gifts. Um, just speak to him like you would speak to your best friend. Have a look at the gifts of the Holy Spirit because that is what our ministry is. Our ministry is to share God's work. Our ministry is to be closer to God. Our ministry is working together as a church family, as a group of people, all for him, focusing on Jesus, focusing on the same Holy Spirit, the same God, the same Son, Jesus. Read 1 Corinthians 12.